integrate e to the sine x times cosine x. So in order to do this problem, we are going to make a u substitution. So typically our goal is to let u be the inside piece with the hopes that our du, which is the derivative of u, appears somewhere in the problem. So you see if we let u equal sine x, the derivative of sine is cosine, so that should work out quite nicely. So we'll start by letting u be equal to sine x. And then du is the derivative of u, and the derivative of sine is cosine. So we write cosine x dx. This is called differential notation, by the way, this type of differentiation. It's just shorthand. And now you see this piece here is our du. And this piece here will just be e to the u. So we end up with the integral of e to the u du. Works out really, really, really nicely. And when you integrate e to the u, you simply get e to the u. So this is e to the u plus our constant of integration, capital C. And u is equal to sine x. So this is e to the sine x plus our constant of integration, capital C. And that would be the final answer.